father and sister until his father died suddenly in 1938. When we got married, we had a bedroom in the Richardson home. Our first home was a ranch house that we moved from a place 12 miles east of us, loaded on wagon axles and pulled by tractors to the farm. We lived in the house on the Richardson farm for about five years. And then Ed decided to move two and a half miles south onto our own land. With the help of Mr. Burke from Carmody, we moved the house a second time through our field. It was loaded on moving beams. Mr. Plurd and Dad and others walked ahead to look out for rocks and holes. After we got the house to our land, we thought we'd make it bigger, which meant making the basement bigger, so they dug the rest out by hand. Once the house was settled in its place, Will Campbell, who had devised the plan, helped the men split the house down the middle so we could make it eight feet wider. This was all done in a day. We actually continued to live in the house while the work was being done, much to my mother's concern, as I was expecting our second daughter, Lynn. As it turned out, our little house was in constant state of renovation. For 10 years, Ed and I made changes to that house, and now our granddaughter lives in this house. And guess what? It is in the midst of renovations as I speak. <laughs> 